Internet of Things, nanotechnology, digital education and e-commerce development. Modern world stands on the threshold of large-scale changes in daily lives of people and the economy of entire regions. Even as we speak, the experts call these transformations as the fourth industrial revolution, inscribing them in consistent history of previous technological explosions. In a special program, Digital Kazakhstan, we tell about how they affect the internal processes in the Republic and the development of Kazakhstan's science and technology. Today in our program, let's talk about what digital reforms are expected in Kazakhstan's healthcare system. How do new technologies help people living with diabetes mellitus? And who will teach doctors to use new information systems and electronic databases? Digital technologies are one of the priorities of healthcare development all over the world. Each year this market increases by more than a quarter. After all, if in 2014 it was estimated at 10.5 billion US dollars, today it has reached the level of 52 billion. According to experts, digital innovations provide a breakthrough in availability and quality of services without increasing healthcare costs. Therefore, development of this promising area is necessary not only for convenience of doctors and patients, but also for state as a whole. Kazakhstan is not an exception. Here in 2005, they began to think about transfer of medical sphere into electronic format. And in 2017, they began working on Digital Kazakhstan State Program, one of goals of which is to rationalize use of health resources, patient-oriented approach and access improvement to quality medical care. Previously, digitalization was for our needs. We were engaged in collecting reports, financing, that is, we were trying to digitize our processes that we needed. But recently we began to move to patient-oriented principles, that is, to services for patients. It is what population will get, what they need in fact. And we began to move more specifically to digitalization of processes in which patient is involved development of telemedicine, remote control of patient, transition to paperless documentation are priority areas in digitalization of Kazakhstani healthcare system. In order to achieve set goals, large-scale work is underway in country. Large-scale IT companies, including foreign ones, are involved in development of new projects. Recently, we arranged digitization days under AGs of Zerde National Holding. We also invited all companies who wanted to. We told what projects we have in future, where they can participate, which is interesting for us. Hackathon is another way to attract attention of developers to create necessary projects for the country. For this purpose, recently a competition of technological ideas on the theme Digitalization of Health and Social Protection Ecosystem was held in Almaty. This event was organized by International Fund UNICEF, Republican Center of Electronic Health, Almaty City Akimat and International University of Information Technologies. Twenty of them, based on um, what we call UNICEF innovation principles. This includes, for example, whether the solution that's being proposed is based um, on ev evidence, data, uh, whether it has actually a sustainable uh, uh, kind of uh, compo component that it will be maintained after and can be also brought to scale. Um, this is a, a very important thing for us because we need to actually invest in solutions that pe people will want to invest in. Um, and so UNICEF uh, will, for example, link solutions uh, and ideas to our um, lab here at the IITTU, develop it and then bring it to marketplace. This means that the startups which begin here will continue for a period of time. UNICEF will be able to find investment for them. Uh, through our par partnerships here in Kazakhstan, but also those outside side as well, those abroad. Several topics were selected as main areas for development. One of them is remote post-operation monitoring. 
Projects in this field should allow doctors to monitor patients' condition after surgery through mobile applications, various questionnaires and special gadgets. Such innovations are necessary in order to establish remote control for people with chronic diseases. It is possible to use various sensors, trackers and other devices that will send information about patient's condition directly to attending doctor. Это банальные какие-то опросники в мобильных телефонах, которые позволяют выявить возможные вариации того, что Manual questionnaires in mobile phones allow to identify possible variations that a person has a predisposition to get sick, etc. And on basis of this, they already recommend to patient and doctor to conduct some kind of diagnosis. Next stage is, of course, an artificial intelligence that already analyzes genomics of this person. It says that some kind of disease can be developed and recommends you to conform kind of lifestyle and at early stage to have some specific tests. В среднем возраст у вас может развиться какое-то заболевание, поэтому вам необходимо придерживаться такого-то образа жизни, либо на ранней стадии там сдать какие-то определенные анализы. Another important branch that requires digitalization was suggested as topic for this hackathon. It is tracking of medicines transportation. Ayan Nurbalat is one of contest participants. His project is to control medicines transportation at every stage with help of special sensors and blockchain technology from importation of pharmaceutical products into country or its production at local plant to destination point. With the help of this project, it will be possible to monitor temperature and other characteristics, such as humidity of containers in which medicine is located, and you can observe it in real mode. By GPS, it will be possible to see where this truck is located, what is in it, and what drugs are transported, to what place. Developers who successfully passed Hackathon get an opportunity to get their project to final product by becoming a participant in UNICEF Fund's Innovation Laboratory. We also um, link with uh, other systems here, for example with most business incubator as well. This enables us to link in with their schemes. For example, they have an incubator scheme here, they have uh, an Excel accelerator and some of these startups will, will be able to pass there as well and access the kind of um, benefits and facilities that they actually offer to which may also link with um, initiatives like the Astana Hub or the AIFC as well. Inventors and scientists around the world are actively working on creating gadgets and applications that will simplify lives of people with chronic diseases such as diabetes mellitus. In Kazakhstan, prototypes of conceptual ring glucometer, healing bandages and medical clips for determining blood sugar level have already been presented. I enter value 4 and 0. Measuring was made after meal, state of health is well and date is set correctly. I save it. It is the first mobile application in Kazakhstan designed to significantly simplify lives of people with diabetes mellitus. It is an electronic diary of self-control necessary for everyone who has encountered such a disease. Its relevance is due to the fact that life with diabetes mellitus requires not only strict adherence to doctor's appointments, but also a clear fixation of those and other changes in body which in turn visually show dynamics of pathology development and help to develop a correct treatment strategy. As a rule, 99.5% of patients do not keep self-monitoring diaries. The fact is that this is a very tedious routine work. You need to take notebooks all the time where you need to write down such things and sometimes they're lost. In general, it is not interesting. Therefore, purpose of our application is to turn a smartphone into a real assistant. We know how to count steps and fitness trackers, remind that you need to take medicine, we have a built-in food base, that is, all those things that are needed to accompany medical process. 
Disaster medicine is sphere of domestic healthcare in which digital technologies use is critically needed. According to statistics, only 2,000 people per year die on roads of Republic. Some of them die because of untimely assistance. Among doctors, there is the so-called golden hour rule, which for a moment of injury allows most effective relief consequences of accident. However, because of long distances, traffic jams or incorrect information about accident scene, doctors do not always manage to arrive at accident scene on time. In order to solve this problem, Kazakhstan has developed a special emergency call system for accidents and catastrophes, which is designed to speed up process of notifying operational services about accident, because dialing up to rescue services occurs automatically. Getting a call to our system, we already know where car is, what its VIN code is. According to VIN code, we determine car's owner, car's type. Thus, deciding which response to carry out for this or that case, emergency operational services already have detailed information. How many people? What happened? A rollover occurred. A frontal attack occurred. Just a call by pressing SOS button and they will build on it. Which services to involve to eliminate an emergency? In any field of medicine, correct diagnosis is a key to successful treatment. This statement is also true for dental sphere, which is rapidly moving towards filigree accuracy, which does not allow errors of more than one micron. Therefore, work of dentists has also undergone serious changes recently. For example, panoramic exposures have already been replaced with a three-dimensional computer tomography, and technicians are working now not with plaster and forms, but with computer program and high-tech scanners, thanks to which process of making implants doesn't require human intervention. It's a milling machine. It directly deduces all designs that we ask and gives such results as a Hollywood smile and so on. That is, on computer we program dental crowns, veneers, dental crowns on implants, prosthesis in program. Then we pass it all here, machine mills all this and gives it to us, and final work is already centered in furnace. By the end of 2018, Kazakhstan intends to digitize card catalog, prescriptions delivery and payment for medical services. According to experts, such measures will avoid corruption, accelerate and improve process of first aid treatment. To date, test projects for transition to paperless documentation have been implemented in eight regions of the Republic, but such innovations have made it easier for a certain part of doctors and patients, for others, system transformation was problematic enough. And the point here is lack of digital literacy, both among staff and public. Therefore, we need time for transition from traditional methods of work to digital format, like in the entire world. We have a Republican e-health center, which has branches all over Kazakhstan. They carry out this work. In addition, medical information systems are now being introduced in healthcare organizations, which allow automation of all above processes. And those companies which implement these systems train doctors to work with these programs. How it is more correct, how it is more convenient, how to work effectively. We conduct this work together with them. Work is also conducted with population. They already established the so-called digital posts in polyclinics and hospitals in which employees of medical organizations conduct patient consultations. It is a nurse who is standing at entrance. Patient comes in, she says, do you have a smartphone? Yes, I have. Here you can download a mobile application. It will allow you to make an appointment with a doctor, get some recipes and research results electronically. If you want, we'll show you how to use it. That is, conditionally, if five, six, three people receive such information out of 10 people who entered polyclinic, Mobile application will be installed for them. They will show how to use it. I think taking account that about 10 million people visit polyclinics in Kazakhstan, if we train 3 million a year, it seems to me this is a good indicator. 
future generation of doctors was not ignored. For students, a special training program is provided, which includes working on same information systems established in health organizations. Therefore, after graduating from university, graduate will be able to start working without additional training. However, considering that volume of new information in medicine doubles every three years, tomorrow specialists will have to solve even more serious tasks that are indicated to them within Digital Kazakhstan State Program.